Hi, and welcome to the 10-minute video summary of the message that was shared at Henrietta Christian Fellowship on the 3rd of March, 2019. My name is Don Bold. I'm the pastor of the church, and for the next 10 minutes, I'd like to share with you uh, just some of the highlights of this morning's message. Uh, we're heading towards Easter, uh, the celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, and uh, so I, I just feel in my heart to share uh, a series of messages on Jesus himself. And I've settled in my heart as I prayed uh, on a series of messages built on uh, the places where Jesus says, I am, and then describes himself in some way. And so we're going to begin with uh, in the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verses 1 through 18. And uh, Jesus says, Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter by the door into the fold of the sheep, but climbs up some other way, he is a thief and a robber. And so, you know, we're being warned ahead of time that, uh, that there are going to come people uh, you know, or spiritual influences into our life that are going to come in an illegitimate way, in a way that was not designed by God as the way that uh, people sent by God come to us. Uh, you know, those people come to us in Jesus' name. Uh, they speak the truth of Jesus clearly, and uh, they speak uh, it, it faithfully, all right? And so they enter by the door. They come to us in Jesus, all right? And so uh, there are those who don't. They come to us with wise-sounding words or, you know, good-sounding things, uh, and they offer them as... Uh, potentially a, a way to, you know, be right with God, but, uh, but Jesus says, don't follow those, all right? So they're thieves, they're liars, they're, they're leading you to destruction, okay? But he who enters by the door is a shepherd of the sheep, all right? Uh, so we're going to find out what that door is all about in a little bit here, but to, to him the doorkeeper opens, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name, and he leads them out couple of things there. First of all, the sheep hear the voice of the shepherd. We need to recognize uh, when it is that Jesus is leading us. Okay, when is the Holy Spirit speaking to us? You know, we talked about in a series of messages that we just completed. And uh, and so that's important to, to know the voice, uh, you know, the way that, that God communicates with you when he's, when he's leading you, all right, because God is desiring to lead you if you've put your faith in Christ. So, it says, to him the doorkeeper opens, the sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name. Do you know that God knows your name? All right. I, you know, I'm in a church with about 110 people, and uh, you know what, I, I know everybody's name. Um, and, but i got to tell you, I mean, I've been in larger churches, and I really try to get to know everybody's name. Why? Well, because Jesus knows us by name, and I'm going to represent Jesus. The people that I'm going to take responsibility for uh, it seems to me that I should get to know their names and uh, be able to call them by name. There's a certain power of a person being able to call you by name. All right. So uh, when he puts forth uh, all his own, he goes out ahead of them. And the sheep follow him because they know his voice. Okay. And so following that leading from the word of God, which you know I believe this is the word of the Lord, uh, and then that Holy Spirit guidance that's coming my way that I've learned to recognize when the Lord is, is leading me, and that's good for each one of us, important for each one of us to uh, to learn that. A stranger they simply will not follow, but will flee from him because they do not know the voice of strangers, all right? Uh, and I've seen that in the practical, and I've, I've shared the story before, I won't share it again, but where I tried to call some sheep, and what appeared to me at least to be the same way the shepherd would call them, they didn't even look up. All right, so this figure of speech, Jesus spoke to them, but they did not understand what these things were that he had been saying to them. So Jesus said to them again, truly, truly, I say to you, I am the door of the sheep. And so <clears throat> number one is recognize that when Jesus said, I am the door, I am the means by which the truth that you should follow is going to come to you. It's going to come to you in my name. And he starts to map out that there are clearly two paths in life. One is a path that leads to destruction. And even back in Proverbs, says there's a way that seems right to a man, but then there are the ways of death. All right, And then there's this other path, which is the path that God is trying to guide us into. And, and now we know that uh, Jesus, by the Holy Spirit, is going to be the one guiding us into that path and, uh, and wanting us to know his voice and be able to respond affirmatively and follow him. <clears throat> he says, I am the door. I am the way uh, that, that people are supposed to come to you. So, you know, if you have somebody who's a spiritual leader in your life, that person should be coming to you in a character, in a way, and with words uh, that tell you this person is coming in Jesus' name. All right, all who came before me were thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. If anyone enters through me, he will be saved. Okay, so 
uh, again, this, this path that begins with the door. And, and we're being uh, invited by the one who comes to the door, comes to the door and knocks and, and, and anyone opens to him and says he'll come in and sup with them. You know, that there is this invitation uh, at the door that is Jesus and, and we're being called uh, in, into that path that, that leads forth from that door. So all who came before me says we're, we're, we're not people to be followed, okay? And it says that, that if you, if, if the, I'm the door, if you enter through me, you'll be saved and you will go in and out and find pasture. The thief only comes, and this is the key scripture that led me into this place, all right? The thief only comes uh, to steal, kill, and destroy. That's one of the paths. One of the paths in lives and life leads to this, uh, this, this path that leads to destruction. Uh, King David said he looked at the prosperity of the wicked. He almost slipped until he looked and he realized God has put those people in a slippery place. They are in uh, a path that leads to destruction. And he, he began to understand this. And uh, he said, but Jesus said, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. Now, you know, we talked this morning in service about, you know, what do you do with, you know, this life abundantly, but what do you do when suffering comes? And, uh, and again, it's the same thing. You choose a path. Am I going to trust the Lord that even in this time of suffering or difficulty that I'm going through, that nonetheless the path remains the same? Or am I going to pitch over, you know, into somebody with, with sweeter words uh, who is leading me on a path that leads to destruction? And so it becomes all the more important. But this abundant life that Jesus is talking to us is not only, you know, an, an improvement perhaps in life here, Sometimes they come, sometimes it doesn't. But the life abundantly that he is mostly referencing here really is uh, life that lasts forever. It is, it's eternal life uh, that we find only in Jesus Christ. The other path doesn't even offer that. I walked that path for some years, and they believe that you know when life was done here, life is done and you are finished. Okay, But he says, I am the good shepherd. I'm not just the door, I'm the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. That's exactly what Jesus did at the cross for you. And, uh, and then he rose you know, from that death that he suffered for you. And uh, anyways, but then he goes on and says, he who is a hired hand, a hireling, okay, is not a shepherd. All right? The one who runs away when th times get difficult, the one who runs away uh, you know, when you know, they're not getting what they want, uh, that one's a hired, hired person. They, they do what they're doing for money. I don't do what I'm doing for money. I've never seen a, 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 a giving record for anybody in our church. I don't care. Uh, God has called me to, to love, serve, and, and pastor these people. I don't look to see who we're getting what from. All right, but and beyond that, you know, I, I will know their names, and uh, and beyond that, it says here that uh, uh, you know you run away when things get difficult. I've told the churches, look, I said, you know, right now we're in a season where you know the church is able to provide for my family so that I can do this full time. If there ever came a time when that wasn't so, uh, my heart is committed. I mean, I would just find another job and continue to pastor uh, the people that, that God has, has called me to pastor. I don't run away from those those responsibilities. The other one, the hireling sees the wolf coming. He runs. Okay, why? It says because he is not concerned about the sheep. He's concerned about himself. All right, and, and that's a good shepherd is concerned for the sheep, and that's why Jesus laid down his life for us. And I want to encourage you, if you have not made that decision, if you have not made the decision to put your faith in Jesus Christ and to, and to step into this path that Jesus is describing here, that you do that today. It's very simple. Believe that Jesus is the one who, who came. He is the Son of God. He died for your sins, and he rose again. And so if, if you believe in him and repent of those sins, you are forgiven, you are saved, and you have a, a new life here and eternal life to follow. And so he says, I am the good shepherd, and I know my own, and my own know me. That's a, that's a promise. He knows you, and, uh, and his desire is for you to come to know him uh, in ways where you can say, and he can say about you also, that you know him, all right, even as the Father knows me. And he goes on to say that about these sheep, they will hear my voice, and they will uh, become one flock with one shepherd. For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life so that I may take it up again. No one has taken it away from me, but I lay it down on my own initiative. I have authority to lay it down. I have authority to take it back up again. And so, you know, just I want you just to consider, uh, you know, this truth about Jesus. He is our good shepherd. He is the door. He is the the the, the one who gives us the, the entrance to that path uh, that leads to uh, forgiveness of sin and to everlasting life to follow. And so with that, hey, we've run out of time, so I'm going to say God bless you, and we'll see you next time on the 10-minute video summary.